Welcome to this very interesting series on derivatives and option strategies. We will start with options first. Let us take an example, uh, maybe a real life example. So in real life, some situations we get some options. For example, in a restaurant, I have ordered a salad and then I have options to choose uh, maybe salad dressing, right? So I can choose ranch or Caesars or Greek salad dressings. So whenever I have that choice or I, I have that option, now this option is giving me a right that, okay, I can exercise this option that I can choose my own favorite salad dressing for the salad that I have ordered. Or actually I may want no salad dressing at all. So I may not, I may not exercise my option. So whenever we have options, the option give us right, but not an obligation to exercise it. So this is the main core thing when we talk about options. But clearly in this learning, we are talking about a very specific type of options and those options are the options which are created through financial contracts. So in financial world, we make many options contract and an option is a derivative contract in which one party is buyer of the contract and another party is a seller of the contract. So in options contract, you can either buy an option or you can sell an option. So whenever you buy an option, you are known as buyer of the option or holder of the option. And when you sell an option, you are known as, of course, either the seller of the option or you are known as a writer of the option. So writer is the same ter thing as a seller of the option. And when this option contract is uh, made at that time, buyer pays to seller a premium, right? So buyer pays to seller a premium, which gives buyer a right to exercise the option. So buyer pays to seller something called option premium and in lieu of paying this option premium buyer acquires the right and this right is right to acquire the underlying asset in the option contract for example the underlying asset may be shares of a particular company suppose a name of company is hypo abc so when buyer purchases uh, from a seller a right and pays option premium, this uh, may be a right to purchase shares of a particular company, maybe Hypo ABC Limited. And buyer will exercise option either prior to a particular time, which is the expiration date. So buyer would exercise the option before the expiration date or on a particular specific expiration date. So there is always an expiration date involved in options and buyer of the option has to exercise the option or not exercise the option by that particular date which is known as expiration date. And they also settle for a price and the price is called exercise price or strike price. So this is price of the asset actually. So one unit of the underlying asset would be purchased at a particular price, which is known as exercise price or strike price of the asset. So in options contract, there will be definitely an expiration date and there would also be a particular price which is called exercise price or which is called the strike price and this is price of the asset at which the asset would be traded in case the option is exercised. When we talk of expiration date of an option, so it is to be remembered that when option can be exercised early, that is before the expiration date, this is called American style options. 
and when option can be exercised only at the expiration date this is called european style option so it is all about either you can exercise the option on a particular expiration date or prior to expiration date even so if you can exercise your option uh, prior to expiration date this is called american style option but if you can exercise it only on the expiration date and uh, then it is called the european style option moreover in option it has to be remembered that when somebody is buying an option now this person is buying a right so buyer of option has to pay to seller of option one option premium to acquire a right and that right is a right to purchase something if it is a right to purchase something if it is right to buy something this is called call option or just a call or when buyer pays to writer uh, option price which is called option premium and then acquires a right to sell this is called put option or just a put so what this buyer is paying for if this buyer is paying for a right to purchase it is called call and if this buyer is paying to writer a option premium uh, to acquire a right to sell it is called put option so broadly there are either call options or put options moreover it is to be remembered that when you are buying an option you are said to be long on this position you are supposed to uh, you are uh, uh, said to be uh, in long position and when you sell an option you are said to be in a short position so writer has a short position in the contract and buyer of the option has a long position in the contract so writer has a short position in the contract and buyer has a long position in the contract in the option contract so eventually we have to now understand that option is an option it gives buyer of option a right but not obligation and when this uh, uh, right is uh, right to purchase then this is called a call option and uh, this is definitely a longs uh, right to buy or purchase we can call it the underlying asset at a particular price uh, on or before an expiration date uh, and this long party or this long position holder gives option premium to the seller or writer or the person who shorts it the call option gives long a right to buy or purchase similarly a put option gives long the person in the long position right to sell it may be selling an underlying asset which is a particular stock or share of a company in this case we call them stock options or equity options so in this learning whenever we are talking of options we are mostly referring to stock options or equity options it means the underlying asset is equity or stock or shares of a particular company okay let us now summarize a few few things here so when somebody buys and is holding a long position uh, and this is called long call which gives the buyer a right to buy the share or stock because remember we are talking only of equity options so we will just say right to purchase the shares of a particular company uh, on a particular date or before a particular date which is called expiration date and call option gives long party a right to buy the right to buy the shares of a particular company so this is a right to buy long's right to buy is called call and similarly if you want to acquire a right to sell then you have to be long on put so long put means you are buyer of a put option 
and uh, as a buyer of put option you will pay premium to the writer of the put option this premium would be called option premium and this will give you a right to sell a particular share uh, on or before expiration date to the writer so in order to acquire the right to sell you enter a put option contract so writer on the other hand so long call and opposite party to that is short call so this writer has a short position now in the call since you have acquired suppose you are buyer of this call so you have a right to buy now somebody definitely has to have the obligation to sell and that is the guy who has received premium from you the option premium from you and that guy would have the obligation to sell it to you and that is called the writer or the seller of the call option and this person would have a short position in the call and similarly if you are long in a put option it means you have acquired the right to sell so that is what you are trying to acquire so you want to acquire the right to sell and you acquire it by paying an option premium to the writer of the put option and you pay option premium to the writer of the put option and now this writer has a short position in the put option contract so when you have right to sell this share definitely somebody has to have obligation to buy it as well and this writer who has received option premium from you that writer or seller would have the obligation to buy it from you in case you want to sell it in case you want to exercise the option to sell now when they, these contracts are happening these options contracts are being bought and sold you purchase an option it may be an option to acquire a right to buy which means you have a long position in a call option right so why would you have a long position in a call why you want to acquire a right to purchase a particular share in future because you may be bullish so if you are bullish then you will acquire a long position in a call that is for sure because you want to acquire the right that okay in future the prices would rise uh, currently the price is maybe $100 uh, of a particular share and then you think oh it's uh, likely to rise to 140 uh, in future uh, on expiration date or before expiration date then you are long in call you acquire the right to purchase it at a particular price which is known as a strike price maybe you purchase a right to purchase it at 125 you think prices will keep on going high and you are very bullish so you purchase the right to purchase a share at 125 dollars in one month from now already its price is 100 dollars only because you think may it, it can even go to 145 uh, you will purchase it at 125 and then maybe you will be able to sell it at 145 so this way you will make a profit because you are bullish on this uh, position so if you are bullish that okay price of this share would go up then you are long on call but then there may be parties who think no the price can go down so that person would sell you this option and that person would acquire the obligation to sell you that share at uh, 125 and uh, then that person acquires the obligation to sell you on expiration date or before expiration date because that person is bearish on that uh, bearish in this uh, uh, outlook of this share so this person has bearish outlook for this stock so that person would be short on the call that person would get premium from you that person thinks that price of share would go down and that person will 
have a short position in the call contact. Similarly, if we go by this rule, a long put is a right to sell. A long put is a right to sell. So you are requiring right to sell at a particular price. And this normally happens when you are like having a bearish outlook. And then you think, oh, prices of share may go down. So let us buy a long put. Let us acquire a right to sell. So if price goes too much down, then I will sell it at the strike price or exercise price, which is agreed upon now. So if you are bearish, you will acquire a long position in a put option. But if you are not uh, bearish, and uh, then you will definitely uh, acquire a short position in a put contract. And so short position in a put contract gives you obligation to buy. You think, oh yeah, this price is not going to go down. I will buy this share, right? So you are not bearish. So we can also call it probably that you are bullish or at least not bearish. Bullish here means not bearish also. So this is how options contract work. And in the next learning, we will talk specifically about how call options work. Thanks for joining.